The Israeli commando attack on the Freedom Flotilla sailing to Gaza ended in a bloody massacre. At least nine Turkish civilians died and 38 were injured. Now survivors struggling to come to terms with what they have witnessed face another battle. Phones, laptops, video cameras were, according to Israeli Defense Force spokespeople, legitimately seized during the attack. Victims say the ships were in fact looted by soldiers. We had cameras and mobile phones taken off us during the first process on the ship when they were moving us out of the salons and they took anything that was on you then in terms of technology. It's estimated that some 600 mobile phones, 400 video cameras and 350 laptops are still in the hands of the Israeli military. Most of the passengers were also carrying large amounts of cash on them from months of fundraising. The money was heading for charities in the Gaza Strip. Over 3,500 of my cash, uh, my driver's license, they took um, my Ikama, which is um, a work permit to work in Saudi Arabia as a teacher. Um, they have took my laptop, which is a Samsung. Um, they also took um, many, many items of clothing. Dermis Aden, the deputy president of the Turkish charity IHH, which organized the flotilla, confirmed that bags of clothes had arrived in Turkey from Israel. But only two or three laptops and the same number of missing mobile phones have been recovered. Adding to calls for passengers' belongings to be returned is former U.S. nurse and aid worker Kathy Sheets. Sheets was on the Marvi Marmara and has provided Press TV with bank statements, proving her bank card, taken by Israeli forces during the raid, has since been used in Tel Aviv. It looks as though they tried to use it without the PIN code and couldn't, but they could use it in the vending machines. So I have multiple, multiple uh, um, access of my card to buy beer, according to the statement. And what it means is that I witnessed the Israeli Navy going and killing people, arresting people falsely, bringing them into their country falsely, and then in the end celebrating by buying beer in my card. The official line from the British Foreign Office is that the issue of the missing luggage has been raised with Tel Aviv and also the Israeli ambassador in London. However, unofficially, sources have been telling me that Israel is now claiming that passenger goods have already been forwarded to the IHH charity in Turkey, or that they have become mixed up with the aid that was heading to Gaza on the ships and is now sitting at a checkpoint waiting to be sent in. Neither the Israeli authorities nor the British Foreign Office say they have so far been made aware of any missing cash whatsoever. Lauren Booth, Press TV, London.